Judging Elden Ring, hammers based on how effective they would be as actual hammer weapons. Now, I absolutely love one of these designs, but we've got to get through some boring stuff first. The club, yeah, it's a club. It's heavy wood. It would work as a club. Curved club, a bit weird, but yeah, it would still hurt things if you hit them with it. Spiked club, like the regular club, but spiky would deal a bit more damage in a bit different way. Traditionally, stone clubs were made with a stone head and a wooden shaft. That's how the people in caves did it. This one that's entirely made of stone would probably be too brittle. The mace is a mace. It's well designed. Morningstar is a Morningstar. Well designed. Warpick is a Warpick. The hammer looks like a heavier maul, which was used as an improvised weapon because a lot of people had them. And it was also used by the archers in the Battle of Agincourt because they were pounding down these stakes so that, so that way the cavalry couldn't get to them. And since they had to carry those hammers around for that, they couldn't have another sidearm, so they used those. And by all accounts, to devastating effect. But usually they worked in teams, so one-on-one -on -one it's not the best. The Monk's Flame Mace? Definitely unorthodox, but would work. And now the one that I absolutely love. Vare's Bouquet. It's a bouquet of flowers, and I don't know the lore in that, but if you had some plant material and it got petrified, then you could use it as a mace. So that's... that's really cool to me. Envoy's mm. Horn. Heavy Horn, you can hit things with it. Nox Flowing Hammer, I don't understand what it has going on just from the picture, however, you could hit things with it. The Ringed Finger looks gross, but it would be a heavy thing that you can hit things with. And the Scepter of All-Knowing and Marinka's Hammer you can hit things with. I'm sorry that yes, you can hit something with these is my answer to most of these ones. 